At the beginning of this movie recap we look into the jungle, where many plant-eating dinosaurs lived. In fact, this part of this jungle was home to these plant-eating dinosaurs. And here all these dinosaurs lived together. And they had no problems here, because all the dinosaurs that lived here were herbivores. One day they were attacked by a carnivorous dinosaur. It was because of this that all the dinosaurs started running for their lives. And the carnivorous dinosaur followed them. He stepped on all their eggs and headed forward. And he captured one of them. And there was only one egg left. Then came another carnivorous dinosaur, who then took the egg and ran to the jungle to eat it. But another dinosaur tried to snatch it from him. And that's how the egg fell into the river. And it flowed with the water. But then Dino Bird took it and flew away. And after flying for a while, he reached the top of the mountain where he was trying to eat the egg in peace. But then two small dino birds tried to snatch it away. And because of that, the egg fell out of his hands and landed in the middle of the jungle, where many monkeys lived. All the monkeys got scared when they saw that big egg. And when, the daughter of their leader named Plyer, he came closer. She saw it. A baby dinosaur was crawling out of it. And she loved it. But her father Yar said this is a dinosaur. And he would kill them all when he grew up. And that's why they should kill him. But Plyer didn't want to kill him. But still she obeyed her father and gave him the little dinosaur. And when, Tasha tried to kill him, he failed because of that dinosaur's innocence. And then he gave it to Plyer. Plyer was really happy after he got that baby dinosaur. And she named him Aladar. And all the monkeys surrounded him to get a good look at him. Because they have never lived with a dinosaur before. And after some time Aladar grew up. And he enjoyed himself with his monkey friends. And he lived a happy life. Every year the monkeys had a ritual where all the monkeys get a mate. This time everyone got a partner in the ritual. But Plyer's brother, Jimmy and Aladar did not get a partner, because Jimmy looked different. And Aladar had no partner. They were really sorry. Then they saw that many meteorites were about to fall from the sky. In the next moment, meteorites started falling into the jungle. This caused a heavy fire in the jungle, and everyone was running here and there for their lives. Jimmy and Aladar got scared when they saw this, and they also ran for their lives. Aladar tried his best to save his monkey friends, and then he dived into the water to save himself from the fire. Many monkeys died because of it, and this jungle is now uninhabitable. So Aladar took Jimmy, Plyer and the rest of his monkey family and set out to find a new home. After Aladar had traveled a lot, he saw a different kind of dinosaur. And when he saw it, he was shocked, because he never saw a dinosaur. But then came a lot of velocileptors, who attacked a ladder to eat him, and a ladder fled to save himself. And while running, he met a group of herbivorous dinosaurs, who were also looking for a new home. A ladder also joined the group to save himself from the velocileptors. Some dinosaurs from this group became his friends. They told a ladder that they had to travel a lot to reach the green jungle, and there is plenty of food and water available for them. At night, a ladder slept with the group, and the next morning they continued again. The leader of that group, Kron, told them that if they needed to get to the river, then this dessert must be exceeded. So all the dinosaurs obeyed Kron and followed him. Having had no water for several weeks, they were unable to walk, and some dinosaurs starved to death on the way, and the Velociceptors ate them to quench their hunger, who followed the group. After several days of travel, they finally reached the lake, but this lake has dried up and the dinosaurs were sad about it. Kron asked them to step forward, but Krono's sister Nira told him that they could not go long without water. But Kron ignored her words, and he didn't care about his group. He just wanted to get to the jungle. Now Aladar's friend Ima has weakened, because she had no water for days. Aladar, he tried to help her and pushed her, but she was really hard, so Aladar could not help her. Then Aladar and Jimmy somehow dug through the ground and found water there, and then Aladar and his friends quenched their thirst. Then Aladar invited everyone to drink water, and just when Kron found out, he ran for Aladar, and he pushed everyone to drink water. Nira was impressed by Aladar's work, and here she also started to like him. After drinking the water, all the dinosaurs rest, and their Aladar taught the little dinosaurs to get water from the ground. Then came Nira, who then asked Aladar why he was helping others. To this Aladar replied that he could not let anyone die. After hearing this, she said the world has changed now. And if you want to survive, you have to kill them all. To this Aladar replied that he did not believe in it. That may be your and your brother's belief. And in this, Nira held her own. Then he taught Nuru how to get water from the earth. And then a friendship arose between them. Then we'll see Krono. Told by his friends, carnivorous dinosaurs are chasing them. Then Kron asked everyone to go forward. During this journey, most of the dinosaurs were left behind. And when Aladar asked Kron about it, then he said they couldn't wait for them. And if they get left behind, that's a good thing. Because carnivorous dinosaurs would also be left behind to eat them. And they would safely achieve their goal. 
Aladar became angry with Kron after listening, and he asked all the dinosaurs to wait for the one left behind. This made Kron angry and he then attacked him. Then we shall see, Aladar asked his friends to proceed quickly, but his friends couldn't move fast, and he didn't want to leave them behind. That's why he stayed with his friends. On the way he got Kron's friend injured, who was attacked by carnivorous dinosaurs. Aladar, he took the dinosaur to the cave, and their plier injected him with some medicine to cure him. At that the dinosaur said why don't they let them die. Upon this plier explained to him, saying that it may be your belief, about myself, when all the dinosaurs slept at night. Then some carnivorous dinosaurs came there, and Aladar had sensed their presence before, and he quietly told his friends to get deep into the cave. Then by mistake, Aladar's friend came across a small stone that came out of the cave, and the carnivorous dinosaurs saw Aladar. Then they led him out of the cave by pulling his tail. Seeing this, his friend came to help him. Then he freed him and then started fighting those carnivorous dinosaurs, and he asked the latter to save everyone else. Then he threw rocks and blocked them from getting inside the cave, and in the process, a carnivorous dinosaur and Aladar's friend was killed by the rocks. Aladar was saddened by the death of his friend, and then he and his friends moved forward, and there, Kron's teammates kept moving forward. And on the way, when the baby dinosaur had trouble moving forward, Nira helped them move forward. Aladar and his friends reached the other side of the cave, but the place was completely filled with darkness, and its exit was also blocked. Jimmy took the rock out of there, and sunlight entered the cave, and everyone knows that this is the exit from this cave. Then Aladar tried to tear down the massive rocks that blocked the exit, but he failed, and then he gave up. Then Aladar and his friends tried to get out of that cave. After seeing his friends try so hard, he also got motivated, and all of them together managed to open a way to get out. After exiting the cave, they saw a beautiful jungle there, and when they saw that, they were really happy. Aladar then asked Ima about the group. Then she said they were on their way. Then they saw that the way to this jungle was blocked. After seeing this, he realized that the group couldn't get here, so he came out of the cave to help them out. Then when Kron reached there with the group, they saw that the road was blocked, so he asked the dinosaurs to climb the mountain and get there. And then there a ladder arrived, who asked everyone to follow him, and he claimed to know an easy way to get there. But Kron was angry with him, and he thought a ladder wanted to become the new leader. Therefore he attacked him and wounded him. But Nira stopped him. Then a ladder and Nira left, and everyone in the group also followed him. Because they recognized it, a ladder is right. Then came the carnivorous dinosaur, and a ladder challenged him to fight. But he didn't attack Aladar, as they all were with Aladar, and they followed him. Then Aladar, Nira, and the group headed towards the cave. And when the carnivorous dinosaur saw Kron himself, he attacked him, and threw him off the mountain. Kron then died on the spot. After seeing this, Nira attacked the carnivorous dinosaur, but she also got hurt. Then Aladar began to fight him. During the fight, a carnivorous dinosaur fell from the mountain, and he died on the spot. Then they all followed Aladar and Nira and got into the jungle and there they lived happily. And here the movie recap ends. If you like this mystery recaps, please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more story recaps.